Hello everyone, I'm Josh and welcome to our first Formula E coverage for Season 4, the 2017-2018 season. Now I would like to plan it uh, a lot like we do F1 stuff where we do it live and we get to talk about it during the race basically. Um, but because uh, not all of the uh, races are live where I live in Australia, sometimes race 1 will be, sometimes race 2 will be. Sometimes they might both be live, um, maybe none of them are at all, maybe I only get to watch them on a replay. Um, I've done a race recap for round one in Hong Kong, um, but we will try and do anything that we can live, anything that we can't, we'll do it like this, and then we'll probably talk about it later in our new Discord server. So you should be able to see, it'll be on this side, where is it? Boom, right there. Um, that's our new Discord server, guys. Get in and join it. You're all welcome. Just use that link to sign up and verify your email address. Um, we'll have channels for everything, Formula One, Formula E, Motorsport, Endurance Championships. Um, we're going to try and do a whole bunch of stuff in the coming year. Um, gaming as well, obviously. Um, so get involved. Let us know what you think, what you what's missing, what you want to talk about. We'll set up some you know, times, but um, get on the Discord server anytime, um, I could be around, um, there should be a lot of other people around as well, add to the chat, and um, hopefully, you, hopefully you guys enjoy our coverage of the Hong Kong race, race one and two, and um, yeah, don't forget the Discord, we'll see you guys later, enjoy. Alrighty guys, welcome to Race Recap for the Formula E Season 4. We are here, Round 1, Race 1 in Hong Kong. So let's get right into things. Vern leads lap 1, and he has some contact during the chicane. Uh, and we even get three cars wide there. We also see lap 1 have a traffic jam occur in the S-Bends, which resulted in a lengthy red flag period. Vern restarts the race after the safety car, and Vern defends a move from Bird on the first chicane, and the two Renault E-Dams just managed to come together, but uh, no, not too much damage for those guys. Degrassi and Apt run into each other in turn two. Uh, Degrassi just misses a visit with the wall. Uh, Felix Rosenquist spins himself on the second chicane, while Vern locks up, defending a move from Bird in turn three. Heidfeld makes a move in on Turvey on turn two, but it was unable to make it stick. Degrassi then pits very early due to a loose rear right wheel, and possibly because of the earlier contact. Turvey now drops from third to sixth after having some issues. Vern and Bird then fight for position again. Bird going for the overlap uh, during the chicane, but uh, Vern manages to stick it out and stay first. A lap later, Bird then makes a late-breaking move on the inside on the first chicane overtaking Vern, which means he now leads the race before our first round of pit stops. Uh, Bird then immediately builds a nice gap while Vern pits a lap before Bird. Now Bird, a lap later, makes a pit stop and he manages to lock himself up and slide into a few bystanders in the uh, pit next to him. Fortunately, everyone was okay. But Bird comes on the radio later saying he was very sorry and obviously he didn't mean to do what he did and also complaining that the pit lane was very slippery and during replays you can see a lot of dust and stuff fly up as he uh, just manages to lock up. But Wemmy then has issues after the first chicane um, complaining of a BMS shutdown on the radio so that's a battery management shutdown but gets everything restarted. Uh, Bird then gets a drive through penalty on lap 28. Uh, it was due to contravening sporting regulations. It wasn't because he uh, lost control in the pit lane and didn't manage to just hit someone. It was because he failed to actually park his car in the garage. Um, as he locked up, he didn't actually then reverse the car and park it in. He just left it where it was. So that's what the drive through was for. Vern was now expected to lead the race because of Bird's drive through. Um, but somehow Bird served his penalty and he emerged back in first place, which was astounding to see. And Gell then on lap 41 was given a max power overuse penalty. He was currently running fourth. De Costa then locks up into the chicane. He goes wide, hitting Apt, but Apt moves up two spots. Mortara then takes Lin on the first chicane, moving up to ninth. And Bird crosses the line 
in first, Vern goes second, Hydefall third. So that was race one in Hong Kong. Round one, race two. We see Felix Rosenquist start pole, Mortara second, Apt third. Uh, there were then starting light issues which saw the race start under a safety car, but not after the cars were left waiting on the grid for a few couple of minutes. And then Rosenquist led the pack away after the safety car returned. But immediately on the first chicane, Rosenquist went for a spin, having to wait for the pack of cars to uh, pass him. As he saw a small gap, he tries to move back in onto the racing line and just hits PK. Wasn't anything major, uh, but now Mortara leads the race. So still on lap one, Felix Rosenquist and Felipe go side by side into turn two. They both go sliding s sideways through the corner. Rosenquist is now joined up into 11th. Lap four, Da Costa makes a nice overtake on Lynn for fourth. Bird then makes a great late braking move to overtake Prost on the first chicane, moving him up to ninth. Lap six, Heidfeld has issues stopping the car briefly and it drops him way back down to 20th now. PK also locks up in turn two, just missing the wall. Lap 12, Felix Rosenquist gets past Bird, moving him up to eighth now. Lap 15, Inside overtake for Degrassi on Prost on the first chicane, moving up to 10th. Still on 15, Mortara leads, interestingly, and has 4% more energy than Apt and Evans, who are now running second and third. Felix Rosenquist then moves up on the inside on turn two to overtake Turvey, moving him up to 7th. Lap 19, Mortara leads the race with a 2.3 second lead on Apt. Lap 23, Mortara pits and Apton Evans follow. DeCrassi, Lynn and DeCosta go an extra lap. So everyone else lapped, pitted on lap 23, they chose 24. Uh, during Apt's pit stop, it was almost perfect with a 30, timing in at 37.6 seconds. But unfortunately, Evans loses 9 seconds in the pit stop, losing a few spots. Um, and as Degrassi goes around for his extra lap, he slows just before the pits, manages but manages to restart. So not very good news for Degrassi. After all the pit action, Mortara leads, up second, and then Felix Rosenquist, third. 32, lap 32, see, sees Heidfeld move to unlap himself, looking to make an aggressive overtake on the leader, Mortara. He wasn't obviously very happy about this. Uh, lap 33, Mortara now has a three-second lead on Apt. 35, Lynn pressures Evans for fourth place and manages to keep doing so for a while longer. 36, Kobayashi activates his fair boost. He was running 19th, so it was for a little bit of fun. 37, Lynn looks to make a move on Evans again on the turn six chicane. Bird in seventh was also pressuring Vern. 38, Motora's lead now has dropped to only 1.3 seconds, so Apt is gaining here. 41, Motara now increases lead back up to 2.3. Lap 43, Apt uses his fan boost down the straight, and just ahead, Motara spins at turn 1. Now, remember, he was leading. He had, he had regen issues, so as the car was under braking and regen, it changes the brake balance quite significantly. And because of this, um, yeah, Mortara lost his back end as it just drifted away from him. And he managed to now rejoin the race in third. So Apt now leading. Rosenquist is second. Mortara third. Um, and that's where we finish. Lap 45. Apt winning on his 25th birth birthday. But before... Everyone had crossed the line on turn nine. PK was slowing down as he had it was very low in energy. And then just off behind him, Lynn comes flying past and darts off into the wall and doesn't even cross the finish line. So there was action right up to the very end, guys. Uh, so as I said, guys, Daniel App did win. But um, after the crowds left, the FIA did an inspection. And I'll read the official statement 
or the report from the FIA website. Um, Audi Sport came under investigation from the FIA, who disqualified Apt from round two after finding that his car's components didn't match up. With the decision currently under appeal, which um, as of now they um, didn't, they won't appeal it. So a final positions for race two will be Rosenquist in first, Mortara with second place, Mitch Evans who goes third. And um, I hope that brings you up to speed on everything Formula E. Uh, don't forget to join our Discord server. Links are in the description. And um, I hope to see you live at our next race or in our next recap.